Welcome back to our Python for Raspberry Pi series. In this lesson, we'll dig deeper into variables and data types, basic operators, string manipulation, lists and dictionaries, and commenting or documentation. By the end, you'll have a strong foundation to build larger projects. Let's dive in. In Python, you don't explicitly declare a type, just the sign of value. Under the hood, Python figures out the type based on the value. So if you have my var equals 10, my text equals Hello, in a quotation, my bool equals true. Python already knows what these types are. So the common data types fall into four categories, starting off integer, example number 42 is an integer. Second one is float, example 3.14 is a float, string is str in Python, example Raspberry Pi in a quotation is a string. And Boolean help with logic, for example, true or false. And it's also possible to convert between types so if, if you have age string equals 25 in a quotation, and then you have age int equals integer followed by age strings in a bracket, now that becomes an integer. Always handle potential errors if the strings cannot be converted. When it comes to arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, integer division, modulus, and exponent, you can play around by having a variable like x equals 10, y equals 3. And if you say print x divided by y, you'd be getting 3.333. If you have print x integer division over y, which is double of the division symbol, you'd be getting 3. If you have print x to the exponent of y, where you put in two multiplication signs, that would give you 1000. When it comes to the comparison op operators, there's less than there's greater than, there's less than or equal to, there's greater than or equal to, there's there is equal to, and lastly, there's not equal to. So if you say print x is equal equal to y, it's a comparison, you'd be getting false because 10 is not equal to 3. And if you have print x is not equal to y, you'd be getting true. When it comes to logical operators like and, or, or not, you can run by a quick example. If you have is adult equals age int greater than or equal to 18 and you have a, you can have another variable called has to get equals true and have another variable saying can enter equals is adult and has a ticket so now when you say print can enter the output would be true because the age is 25 and 25 is greater than 18 and the person has a ticket so that's why it's going to be true when it comes to string manipulation concatenation and formatting is what we'll cover first. You can concatenate you can you can concatenate strings with a plus. So you can have name equals Alice and greetings equals hello plus name. Or another way of doing it is through using F strings for cleaner code where you can have greetings equals F followed by a quotation, followed by hello a comma, and in bracket you have a name and you have that ending quotation mark. For string methods we have about four of them there is the upper there's the lower there's the strip and there's the replace so if you have text equals raspberry pi in capital and you say print text dot strip followed by dot lower you'd be getting everything in small letters when it comes to slicing if you have language equals python and you say print language from one to four and you run this you'd be getting just yth as p it has zero y is at one T is at 2, and H is at 3. If you have print language and you have just a colon followed by a number, you'd only start printing from that initial point, which is 0, and it'd go all the way to 2 without including the letter at index 2, so it'd just be PY. If you have print language minus 2 and then have a colon, it would start from the ending side instead of the starting side we saw earlier so you'd be only getting o and n lists are lists are ordered and can hold multiple da data types we often use them for sequential or durable data so if you have my list equals one comma a quotation apple followed by another number like 3.14 and if you say print my list at index one you'd be getting apple and you can manipulate this data by being able to add things by using things like dot append so if you have my list dot append and have like a banana that would be added 
A dictionary is used to store key value pairs. It's great for labeling data or storing configurations. So you can have things like my dictionary equals, and then you have a name specified, you have an age specified. And if you say print my dictionary and then name in a quotation, you'll be getting whatever name you placed in, in our case, Bob. And you can add things into your dictionary. For example, if you have my dictionary and have a job in a closed bracket and a quotation equals developer, then that would be added to the dictionary as well. You use a list if you need an ordered collection and use a dictionary if you need quick lookups by keys or flexible data structures. You use single uh, comments to clarify intent or like leave notes uh, for something simple. For functions or modules, a uh, doc string. Use hashtags to clarify intent or leave notes. For example, if you have something simple where you're kind of specifying the radius of function, you can just have a single comment to explain what it does. For doc strings, for functions or modules, a doc strings is enclosed in triple quotes. This helps others and future you understand what your code does. So if you have a function you specify like def greet followed by a name and you have that triple code prints a greeting to the user, this would kind of help you understand why you need it in the future. Documenting, documenting code ensures that anyone can quickly figure out what's happening, saving you countless hours of confusion later. You've now got a crash course in core Python concept on the Raspberry Pi variables, data types, operator strings, lists, dictionaries, and best practices for commenting. Up next, we'll use these basics to create more interactive programs, manipulate data, and even integrate with the Pi's GPI opens. As always, practice what you've learned, create small scripts experimenting with these basics, document your code with comments and doc strings, Feel free to share your questions or progress in our community. Let's learn together. Thanks for joining and I'll see you in the next module.